now let us discuss about introduction to functions in discrete mathematics or mfcs uh, let us see about uh, what is the definition for a function and what are the various examples of functions and uh, not the functions first let us see about definition for the function let a and b be any two sets so we have two sets such as a and b we know that sets are always denoted by upper case letter a function f from a to b here a is nothing but one set b is nothing but another set a function f from a to b denoted by f colon a conditional b so f colon a conditional b is nothing but function from f to b is a relation from a to b such that for every element in set a that is a belongs to a there is exactly one element in set b that is b belongs to b such that a comma b belongs to f let us analyze the definition here we have two sets such as a and b then we can define a function from f to b is nothing but a relation a function is nothing but a relation only is a relation from a to b here a means first set b means second set such that for every element in set a for every element in set a that is a belongs to a here small letters means members of the set lower case letters means members of the set elements of the set whereas upper case letter means set name name of the set so for every element in set a that means here small a is nothing but an element which is present in the set this capital a means what that set name a belongs to a there is exactly one element in set b that is small b belongs to capital b here small b means element of the set capital b means that set such that a comma b is belonging to f a comma b here what is a an element of the set what is b uh, a means an element of the set a b means an element of the set b so this pair belongs to the f okay so here function means what f colon a to b okay here set a is called as domain of the function whereas this set b is called as codomain or range of the function okay we can if a function is like this then the first set is called as domain of the function and the second set is called as codomain or range of the function now let us see these five examples in order to have more idea on this function okay on the definition of the function let us see the first example uh, here we have two sets the first set is a second set is b and we have a function which maps from a to b uh, here the elements of set a are 1 2 3 the elements of set b are a b c d here one is mapped to a two is mapped to b three is mapped to c okay here what is a function every element of for every element in set a there is exactly one element in set b here for the element one it is mapped to only one element in set b next second element it is mapped to only one element in set b three is mapped to only one element in set c in set b so we can say that this is a function example one is a function if you observe here here this one is called as image of a this two is called as image of b this three is called as image of c whereas <coughs> this a is called as pre image of one b is called as pre image of two and c is called as pre image of three now let us analyze the second diagram so here also we have a function which maps from a to b one is mapped to a two is mapped to b three is mapped to a okay here c is not mapped so for c there is no mapping okay let us see whether it is a function or not what is a function every element of set a we have exactly one element in set b so here one is mapped to a single element in set a okay next two is mapped to a single element in set b so there is no problem three is mapped to a single element in set b three is mapped to single element in set b here 
here for the elements of b we can have several mappings also there is no problem here a is mapped to two elements one and three there is no problem here okay next c doesn't have any mapping there is no problem so this is also called as a function so function means every element of set a will have a mapping in set b okay if if if, uh, if any element is missing in set b then there is no problem then there is no problem okay now let us analyze the third example okay set a contains three elements 1 2 3 set b contains two elements minus 1 0 so one is mapped to minus 1 2 is mapped to minus 1 3 is mapped to 0 is it a function or not it is also a function why because what is a function every element in set a for every element in set a there is exactly one element in set b so here one is mapped to a single element in set b two is mapped to a single element in set b three is mapped to a single element in set b so there is no problem so this is also an example for the function now let us analyze this example so here set a contains three elements set b contains three elements uh, if we observe two two is mapped to single element c three is mapped to single element c so there is no problem with respect to element 2 and element 3 but if we observe 1 1 is mapped to two elements uh, so 1 is mapped to two elements of set b they are a and b so this is not a function why this is not a function why because 1 is mapped to two elements so what is a function for every element in set a there is exactly one element in set b but here for an element in set A 1, it is mapped to two elements in set B. They are A and B. But this is not possible. Every element of set A will have only one mapping in set B. This is not possible. So why this is not a function? Why? Because 1 is mapped to two elements of set B. Two, this is set A, this is set B. So 1 is mapped to A and B. So that's why this is not a function. Now let us analyze this di diagram. So set A contains three elements, set B contains two elements. So one is mapped to A, two is mapped to B. But what is a function? For every element in set A, there is exactly one element in set B. But here what is the problem? Uh, the element 3 doesn't have any mapping, but that is not possible. Every element of set A will have, should have some mapping. Then only we can say that it is a function, okay? Then only we can say that it is, it is a function. But 3 doesn't have any mapping. So that's why we can say that it is not a function. If you observe this diagram, this is a function. This is a function. This is a function. If, the, if, if, if an element in set B is missed, then there is no problem. But if an element in set A is missed, then we can say that it is not a function. So this is about what is a function and, uh, and uh, different examples regarding uh, uh, what are the functions and what are not.